Hi, and welcome to Wellness Workouts with Katrina. This is a circuit, so make sure you have your comfortable exercise clothes on. Feel free to remove your socks and shoes because there's some yoga elements in this one. And check with your healthcare provider before starting or changing any exercise routine. So we've got about 15, 14 different choices of as we go through the circuit. And we'll start with a plank. So with your plank, we're going to take it down. Elbows or straight arm plank, and here we go. Deep breathing. If you need to modify, pull your knees down, tuck your hips under. So you should feel your core begin to work. Deep breathing as you go. over halfway there. If you need to come out, come out of it and then we're back into it. As you're ready, come down and we'll come onto our side. So pick a side, either side, and we're going to move into what's called a side plank. It's okay to stack the feet or to cross them over. You want the hips stacked. I have an injury, so I'm going to modify with the hips down. So take the top arm up and then lift up so that your hips are off the floor. If you want the full side plank, you can also straighten this bottom arm. You can add a flow as well. A flow would be placing the hand behind the head and come down and up. Exhale and inhale. Another option for a flow would be to reach through and under, especially if you have straight arms here. So you pick a flow or you can hold. Keep breathing. Bring that shoulder away from the bottom ear. And let's come down. All right, we're going to come to the other side. Once again, I'll show the modified version. I have a couple of injuries on the shoulders and my arms. So we'll just modify. It works. As you're ready, elbow under or straight arm under. Make sure your hips are stacked. You can also offset your feet here. If you want to add that flow, you're going to come down and up. Focus on keeping this elbow away from the ear. Exhale down, inhale up. Another flow would be to take that straight arm down and through and under. If you have the straight arms, that's a really tough option there. Once again, you can just hold it if you want. You can come out of it anytime if you need to rest. Focusing on that bottom shoulder, make sure it's away from the ear, and we'll release. This next one we're going to do standing up. So we'll come up and take it to side leg raises. So here's the leg position first, and then as you're ready, add some arms. You can flex the feet or you can point the toes. You can also add a squat. You can hold it as you take it up, take out the momentum, really working the abductors, AB, outer thigh muscles. Make sure you sit back if you're going to a squat. One more. All right, we're going to pick a leg, take it back to a lunge, back, down, up, and hold. Back, down, up, hold. You can also opt to take it to a straight leg kick. Or you 
can just bring the feet back beside of each other if you're getting a little too much. Deep breathing. If you about lose your balance, it's okay to step out of it. I had to remake this video because I was like 10 seconds too long, so <laughs> forgive me. All right, let's come down, switch sides. Other leg, we're gonna take it back, down, up, and lift. I did this as a circuit for my students this week. So we had stations set up around the room and worked all the way around the room. One minute for each station. But a circuit can be as easy as just making a list. Setting a timer, want to do each one for however many minutes. Alright, we're going to move into what's called powerful chair. Feet about shoulder width apart. We're going to reach up and overhead. Exhale, press down into a squat, and then reach down. We're going to come back up. Feel free to extend backwards and engage the core more if you wish. So reaching up as high, as far back as you can, each time between the squats. And we'll come up and prepare for warrior three. Look behind you, make sure you have room behind you to lift the leg. Deep breathing. Feel free to reach with the arms. You may need a chair out in front of you or a wall. And that's fine if you need that for a little bit of balance. Trying to get that leg parallel if you can. Reaching fingertip to toe. Now, if you're getting too much, come out of it and then reach back. And as you're ready, we're going to step out of that one. I'm going to do the other leg the same way. Make sure you have room behind you before you lift. Once again, if you can add arms, you can also add arms out to the side. Some people find that a little easier. One side usually balances a lot easier than the other. I want to use the wall for help. Deep breathing. One of my students have a balance goal. So this can help you to balance. Once again, step out of it if you need to and then come back in. As you're ready, we're going to step out of that one. The next balance is going to be tree. So we're going to place one foot on the inside of the other leg. Pick a place that's either above or below the knee with the heel. If you can add arms, come up and overhead. And I'll show you what the hands look like up there. So they're here. You can keep the arms down, or you can come overhead. Once again, if you need to step out, step out, and then come back in. Press that knee back. Focus on your posture and breathing. Traditional yoga breathing is in and out through the nose but breathe any way you can.
All right, we'll come out of this one, walk it out for just a couple of steps, and then as you're ready, we'll try tree on the other side. Once again, avoid placing your knee right against your the heel right against your knee. You want to be over or under that area. Slight bend in the standing leg can help. And focusing on something ahead of you that's not moving can also help. So you may not want to be looking at my video right now because I think I'm moving a little bit. But it's all good. Focus on pulling that knee back. And deep breathing. As you're ready, we're going to come out of that one, walk it out. We're going to do a couple more on the floor, so clear a spot. If you have a mat, that's fine, you can use a mat. I don't even need a mat here. We're going to come down for a few abdominal exercises. Take it up and lift. You can hold, or you can move into a flood, like crunches. Keep the elbows down so that you can't see the elbows. You can modify by holding across the chest. You can also lift one shoulder higher and the other shoulder higher, exhaling up, getting into the obliques. Another option would be to lift the legs and straighten one knee at a time. Exhale as you reach. Now you shouldn't feel low back pain on that one. Don't go down too far. You have to have a strong core to be able to do this one safely. One more on each side. All right, we're gonna come around and do the low back. Hands down to the floor. And we're gonna lift. So point the toes, lift using the lower back to lift you up. And the option would be to put the hands behind the back or to put the hands behind the head. Make sure you look to the side rather than hyperextending the neck up. So you're going to exhale as you come up. You can also add a leg lift and you can add opposite arm lift. I'll show you that. So it's almost like a swimming move. Or you can do both arms and both legs at the same time. All right, we're going to cover the hands and knees. Tuck under for cat-cow. So exhale and tuck under. Lift the back. Relax. Bring those shoulders back. I'm going to tuck under and exhale. And inhale and reverse. So this is also called Druga Go. It's a great stretch for the low back. Keep going for two more. I want to make sure I don't get this video too long. <laughs> All right, as you're finishing your last one, thank you so much for trying my circuit. So one minute for each station.